friends. Welcome to the camper. Hey, I just wanted to show you a few things. An easy way to stream videos and apps on your phone, but putting it on your TV. A simple way of doing it that's inexpensive. I also want to show you at the end of the video where you can use your phone as a Wi-Fi receiver for your computer. So check that out. Let's get busy. Okay, TV's on for now. Nothing's playing or as far as being streamed through my phone. This is what she'll need. Lightning to digital AV. It's an Apple HDMI USB AV adapter. And I want to say, make sure it is an Apple product because I did try a knockoff, even though it said certified approved by Apple, it did not work. So you have to get the Apple product. It's going to cost a little bit more, but trust me, this is worth it. So as you can see, HDMI to USB. So you have the Apple adapter. And then you're going to need HDMI cable, which looks like that. Then you'll need a USB, standard USB. And now my cables are six feet, depending on your van or RV and how much length you need, because this has to go to the TV. But I'm in the dining room bedroom area, so I just want to make sure I can move within the cabin back here and have whatever reach I need for the device. And then of course, your iPhone. You'll need your iPhone. So to hook this up, we take our HDMI, put it in here. Our USB on the other side. And there like that. And then this end will go into the TV, the USB, and the HDMI will go into the TV. Now let's go to the TV. Uh, all right, so you have USB and HDMI. So let's do the USB first, since that's the furthest away. There's that. And then HDMI. Turn my TV up a little bit here. There we go. All right. So now with the cable, as you can see, it's behind the TV. This is the adapter in. And then this goes into your charging port, which also charges from the TV, which is kind of nice. So that's pretty much it. Now, take the remote or however your TV is set up. On this TV, the Axe TV, go to source, and you scroll down to HDMI. And we should have a signal. And there we go. How about that? And then it'll say here, you're connected as it does up there. Okay, as you can see, I've got the screen pulled up on my iPhone and it's showing up on the actual TV. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm just gonna use this old dock station here. <clears throat> just so I don't have to hold the phone the whole time. All right, so I'm gonna to go to my Amazon Prime and see if I can pull up a video. All right, there's my videos. Now, you can either download videos prior or you can just stream. So I'm just gonna stream ones that are available to me, basically free here. So play, play movie. Usually just takes a couple seconds and it'll pop up. Hmm. 
Now I am using data only. The only reason I'm using data only is because most campgrounds, the Wi-Fi is usually not too good. There, so we can see we got a movie playing. Okay, I can only play it so long because of regulations. So, we see that. I'm going to click out of there. I was going to show you, when you go to settings, go to streaming downloads, and then make sure your stream on Wi-Fi only is turned off. Now, if you're around strong Wi-Fi, well, then you would just want to put that on. Otherwise, it won't play. So you're just using your data. Wi-Fi on, data off. Let's just go back. Go back, go back. Where's my movies? So there's my downloads. I've got some downloads. If I want to play a download, you can click that. Okay, back to main screen. I say we just want to go to YouTube and stream some YouTube videos. Alright, so there's my channel. I can scroll down, see how it affects that. Go to a video. Just takes a couple seconds. This car rear view mirror smartphone. And there you go. Amazing. Goes the commercial. Degree rotation. Six ninety-nine. Six by fifteen. Alright, there you go. So now I've got a video playing. I can scream. You can find others on Amazon. I can stream whatever I want. It's kind of cool. Really don't give you a lot of Pretty accurate. If I want to fast forward, I can. But you don't get a lot of as far as delay delays. Behind a couple seconds, that's it. Otherwise, it comes up pretty quick. This is just a basic access TV, which is great. It's not a smart TV. But as far as surfing and streaming, this adapter works great. You don't have to have dish. You don't have to have a fire stick. You don't have to have a super Wi-Fi system. All you need is your phone. If you're getting a good data signal through satellite you're fine and of course you can use wi-fi as well by now you can watch your movies stream and see it on a little bit bigger of a screen just a reminder to turn your wi-fi off when you want to just use data that way it's not searching and searching for a poor wi-fi connection and of course if you have good wi-fi where you're at well, then you would just turn your wi-fi on Another bonus with using your phone as a router, you can go to your hotspot. If you got that in your plan, where you can allow other devices to join and use it as a hotspot, which is awesome. So yeah, pretty cool product. A little Apple AV Digital Lightning Adapter. If you need one of these, you can get them in the description below of this video. Pick yourself up one. That'll make a little change on it, but free to you. No cost. And it helps the channel a little bit, so I appreciate it. If it's something that you liked in the video, go ahead and share it. Give it a thumbs up if you would, please. And we'll catch you next video. Catch you later. <laughs>